A new way to filter salt water. 10 core consumer processors, coats made out of spider silk, and 4K Blu-rays are almost a thing. These are today's bits. Three quarters of the planet is covered by water. Three quarters, but only one measly percent of that water is actually drinkable. I know, it's kind of unbelievable, but you can trust me, I checked with Google. Many places depend on desalinization to turn undrinkable water into fresh water, but that process is slow, expensive, and requires a lot of energy. And as you know, us humans really like our water. So as you can imagine, this is kind of a problem. Well, now a team of engineers have developed a way to purify the other 99% by way of a filter. Using nanotechnology, a compound called molybdenum disulfide can be made to allow clean water to be pushed through it while keeping salt and other larger molecules out. This is still in the, in the development stages, but if you'd like to read more big words, check out the description below. Right after I drop a bunch of money on my top of the line system upgrade, Intel decides to go off and leak a brand spanking new line of processors that makes it obsolete. Not entirely obsolete, but still outdated. The new i7-6950X Broadwell E processor, rumored to be released early next year, will sport 10 cores, while its smaller brothers will have eight and six cores. So this means to all the enthusiasts out there, the eight core processor will no longer be the flagship of choice, and thus, hopefully not as crazy expensive. The 10 core CPU will be base clocked at three gigahertz with an unknown turbo speed, although speculated to be around 3.5 gigahertz. So basically they're taking the 5960X, slapping a couple more cores on it, and probably gonna sell it for the exact same price I just spent on the 5960. Go figure. The good news is, is that Broadwell E is expected to be compatible with Haswell E motherboards. So if anyone's willing to donate a thousand dollars to me, please send it via PayPal to even though I want it at I still don't need it.com. I'll spell that out for you. Just I don't know about you, but I hate spiders. Even worse, I hate getting stuck in spider webs. Well, North Face has just announced a new spider silk suit made out of synthetic spider silk. So no, it's not made from actual spider webs. Thankfully, that's too hard to harvest, but it is made from bacteria that apparently grows a very similar compound. After extensive research online, I was not able to find any added abilities while wearing the new Spidey suit. Turns out they're just excited because it cuts down on using petroleum as a base product. I still think the story would have been a lot cooler though if the coat would have allowed people to, I don't know, climb walls or swing from buildings or whatever. Just same. For all you media junkies out there, 4K content is almost ready for mainstream. Sony has announced their 4K Blu-ray disc coming available in early 2016. The only catch is that the movies they decided to launch with are not exactly great. It might still be worth watching, though, to some. You can check out the links in the description for a full list. Just remember, this is only the starting lineup, so of course, more titles will follow. That's all for today. Do the like and subscribe thing below, and thanks for watching. Oh, and Sorry for not shaving, it's been busy.